guys, it's Taylor. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Please ignore my hands. I just did a tag and it involves makeup and this lipstick is nuts. I am here to bring you my July TBR. It's a little late, I know, but I'm finally getting it out. I finally figured out what I'm going to be reading this month. And yes, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. So the first part of this July TBR that I'm going to be reading is going to be ARCs. And I have already read one. I read No Use for a Name by Penelope Wright. I'm going to be doing a discussion on this book here in a little bit, but this is the first arc that I read. I gave it a 5 out of 5. So the next arc is going to be Nobody's Goddess by Amy McNulty. This one is about a young girl in a village where the men are masked and they serve the female that they have devoted their lives to as their goddess. And the 17 or 16, 17 year old Noel has thought she knew who her man was going to be, but turns out that the man that she has spent most of her time with is dedicated to her sister. And Noel is actually supposed to be the goddess of the village lord who is basically a recluse, but he's very powerful. So this is going to be her story as she finds her way and hopefully falls in love. So the next three arcs are ones that I got are ones that I got the okay for through NetGalley and that is going to be Mask of Shadows which comes out in September, uh, The List which comes out in August, and uh, Spellsinger which I believe it came out in April. So I'm actually going to be reading those and reviewing them. Uh, you will see more of my wrap up. I'm not really 100% sure what all of those books are about, but I do know that the list is about a long list of banned words. It takes place in the future, and it seems pretty cool. I believe it's a middle grade, so it'll be pretty interesting. I'm really excited to dive in and read it. Then there is the book of the month for Java and the Librarians, and that is going to be, I believe it is List of Cages by Robin Rowe. I'm hoping to find that at my library. I, I think I can get it on ebook through Overdrive, so I'm gonna be reading it that way because I just, I am on a book ban, buying ban, so I'm not really buying books right now. And then there is the Random Book Club, I believe it's called, and that is Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. I have that on the way from Book Depository. I ordered that a while back, so it's just just on its way, and I'll read it when it gets here. Uh, and then there is also two different traveling book clubs that I'm in, and there is also quite a bit of buddy reading that I'm doing this month. So the first, so the one, so the first book that came in was Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I am reading this with Dylan the Reader Five, as well as Lauren, Anna, and Nicole. And we are all, I think we all agreed to do this on Instagram. So if they have channels, I will link them below, but I will link all of their information down in the description below. So yeah, you should totally check them out. But this is my second read of Fangirl. I think I'm only about 120, um, yeah, I'm only 142 pages in, but I'm going to finish it. I'm so excited because I love this book and it's getting so much better the second time that I've read it. The second traveling book that showed up was Lock and Key by Sarah Dezen. This is with Julie from Pages and Pens as well as Abel, Lisa, and Angela. Once again, I will link their information down below. And this is one of the few Sarah Dezen books that I haven't read so I'm really excited to get to read it and mark it up and send it back to... I believe I'm getting ready to send it to Abel and then... Abel will send it to Julie, so this should show up on her channel within the next, I hope, the next couple of months. It'd be really cool to see it and see what everybody else has said because I haven't really peeked in here yet to see what everybody has said because I don't want to spoil anything and I don't really know anything. I'm doing really good at not looking at the back because I want to go in blind like I do with most Sarah Dezen books and I've never really been disappointed. I'm one of the few that absolutely love Sarah Dezen. So while we are on the buddy read train, I am buddy reading Carry On by Rainbow Rowell with a couple of people that I met at Litzy. 
which I recently just joined. I will leave that information down below. It's kind of like Goodreads and Instagram had a baby. It's pretty cool. I'm having a blast. But yes, I met, I believe it is G and Stephanie on there. And we are reading this. And super stoked. I'm going to pick this up after I read Fangirl. Because it's, for those of you who don't know, there is in Fangirl. In Fangirl, Kath, the main character, is writing a Simon Snow fanfiction. And... Simon Snow is kind of like their Harry Potter, although Harry Potter is mentioned in here, but Simon Snow is like Harry Potter meets Vampire Diaries, I believe. So she is a kind of a big deal in the fan fiction writing world, and so Carry On is the fan fiction from Fangirl, and this follows Simon and Baz. I'm really excited! But then I'm also reading of Fire and Stars by Aubrey Colehurst with one of my dear friends, Amanda. She and I are going to be reading this later in the month. This is one of the books that I'm reading for the Biennial Bibliothon, so hopefully she and I will read it then together, and I'm really excited. There was a post on Twitter or Instagram for finding more people to buddy read with, and I'm all about finding people to talk to and buddy reading. And the two girls that I was introduced to are Paula and Alicia. I will link their information down below. And we decided to read Lady Midnight. This is the first book in the Dark Artifice series by Cassandra Clare. I've already started it. I'm about 80 pages in and I hate Emma. So I put it down. I'm taking a break. I'm probably going to read this towards the end of the month because I cannot stand Emma. I need to find the just the drive to read it because I don't like her at all. I don't know. It's probably an unpopular opinion, but right now I just, I just cannot, cannot deal with Emma. Ow. I love Julian. I love Julian, and I love the entire Blackthorn family, and the prologue involved Kit, and I love him, but I hate Emma. And that makes me not want to read it, because this follows Emma and Jules, and I don't want to read it because of that. <laughs> so those are the buddy reads that I am doing this month. And then there is also the Empty Shelfie TBR that I'm going to be announcing. If you don't know about Empty Shelfie, it is a month-long read-a-thon that we do and it is where you focus solely on reading books that are on your shelf. And our goal is to get our TBRs down. So we have three challenges a month in order to help with that and to help choose your books. I was offered a permanent hosting position with Nikki and Heather and I accepted. So Heather is running the Goodreads side, Nikki's running the YouTube side, and I'm running the Twitter side because a lot of the times if any of you have been on there way past your bedtimes, <laughs> way past my bedtime because I work third shift right now. Um, that's me. You're hanging out with me on Twitter and we're sprinting and having a good time. I've just started getting into like the funny questions because I figured if we're up and we're reading we might as well have a little bit of fun with it. But yes, I did accept and we are still going to have um, guest hosts every month but I think this month in July we just took it really really simple because both Nikki and Heather are participating in uh, Camp NaNoWriMo. So Right now, I know that the book, I think, I think the group book that we are reading is the seventh Harry Potter book. For this month of Empty Shelfie, we have decided to do kind of like a throwback, catch-up kind of thing. Twelve different categories, because we've been doing this for about four months now. And all of that was on Heather's channel, I will link it below. So, for the throwback challenges that I chose were, I chose a book by an indie author, and that is going to be Amy McNulty's Nobody's Goddess. Next is going to be Start or Finish a Series, and because I am starting Lady Midnight, that is the first of the Dark Artifices trilogy by Cassandra Clare, so there's that. And then the third one is to do a, I believe it's a book that has the main character or a character who who is a writer or a blogger. That was a pretty pretty simple one because Kath writes fan fiction, so I'm gonna go with Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I tell me what you guys are most excited to read about this month. I think that I am most excited to read probably reread Fangirl and to read finally read Carry On because 
I've had that for a while and it's time to pick it up and read it. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!